everybody, welcome to Hello. Rip Pops React, your BBP1 and BP2. Um, here we are. We are here with what some say is the greatest speech in American history. Um, from oh. Abraham Lincoln. I thought it was from uh, Heineken. Oh, from Heineken. Oh, we've got the wrong video. <laughs> if Heineken oh, did no. speeches, hey? <laughs> hey? Oh. Uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, Gettysburg Address. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're going to let us know on the on the dates of that because I can't remember because I haven't scrolled down. Okay. Um, now we were going to we have got a, an American Civil War video that we haven't recorded yet that we want to record short shortly uh, and bring out because we want to learn a bit more about American history. Um, yeah. So I don't know where we're going to go with this. What it's going to say. I mean, we've heard lots from the British. Uh, Winston Churchill. We've had King Charles. Second, I think. Third. Well, yeah, he's the new one, but we had the old, all right, the old. We speeches. had the old one, did we? All right, yeah. King George, Edward, George, Six. yeah, Edward, George, Dave. If I just keep problem. bringing names out, <laughs> <laughs> where are we going with it? We don't really know what we're doing, so or how this is going to pan out. So um, obviously, us Brits having no idea what what, what this is all about. Uh, it's from the Gettysburg Address, speech delivered by the then U.S. President Abraham Lincoln at the American Civil War Dedication of Soldiers National Cemetery now known as the Gettysburg National Cemetery, uh, November the 19th, 1863. I mean, we're okay. not far off November the 19th, probably be that when this comes out, to be fair, so... Mm. Well, we normally stop a video halfway through. I wasn't going to do that today. I was just going to watch the whole video through, and then we'll yep. have a little chat about it afterwards, and we'll wrap up. All right. Okay, thanks All for right. letting me in on that. So I I'd let you in on that. as you. You're Cheers. as wise as me, because I know sometimes you wait for me to do that. All right. Greatest speech in American history. Let's hear it in full. Let's do it. Alrighty. Four score and Ooh. seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, mm. that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Mm. Wow, that is Funny, a powerful it? speech, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as it went on, like I say, at the end, uh, you know, by the people, for the people, you've heard them before, whether it's been in movies or, or something, I, yeah. I'm not sure, you know, yeah. I knew bits of it, even though I didn't know I knew bits of it or mm. I knew it was from that. So 
interesting how it's sort of it's ingrained in there somewhere from something or other I mean as soon as it started off it could have been something like a Tom Hanks film couldn't it or something like that you yeah, know, coming yeah, at, you know, yeah no a great voice by the narrator there whoever he may be yeah I mean you know just just to be united isn't it and just to show mm-hmm. that you know America being the country that it was or that it, at, at that time when he spoke Yep. of all the people that died to have that as it as it was you know um, that they didn't die in vain and, and really to sort of tell people in the most strongest way you know to unite um, yeah in, in, uh, under that and and I can't really talk about the Civil War because I don't know enough about it I wasn't taught it in school and I that's why we're going to be doing follow ups around the yeah. Civil War on this channel to understand I think it's good that we do that, you know, to understand it better. I mean, um, so it says here, as I said, uh, this was uh, in Pennsylvania on the afternoon of November the 19th, 1863, four and a half months after the Union armies defeated the Confederate forces in the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, the Civil War's deadly, most deadliest battle. Uh, and as it says here, this remains one of the best known speeches in American history, albeit only 271 words long. Just goes to show. Don't have to be pages and lots of uh, PowerPoint presentations. Just put the right words in the right order with the right meaning, and it can mean a lot. Mm. And it just shows you um, how you know uh, dialogue like that can stand the test of time. You know, because yep. the way he wrote it, the words that he used, mm-hmm. the power that came through the actual, you know. I'm going to say dialogue again. I was looking for a different word, but just the power okay. that come across within those words could easily be written now by somebody in 2022, which is why yeah. we're doing this. You know, so yep. uh, it's it's quite incredible, really. Almost as incredible as your dog snoring underneath you, which is sorry also about quite that. Funny. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I yeah, as I say. Um, didn't know what to expect from that, but no. found out that I knew more of the, uh, the 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 Gettysburg Address than I gave myself credit for uh, as it Oof. started rolling along there. Um, apparently, there you know there there were sort of five different versions or of of the speech that he wrote, so they're not no, uh, they're not quite sure which um, version this was. Okay. Obviously, going back that far, you know as well. Um, who wrote it who took the notes and etc etc but there were five different ones in um, Abraham Lincoln's own hand but what's your problem mate? sorry it's brilliant the fact these dogs do that so funny we're going to keep that in as well just because it's humour of the video no no interesting there's different versions alright well we're going to be doing a follow up to American Civil War uh, if you've got yep. any comments on that hit the uh, comments below uh, let us know uh, if you've got any links to any videos you want us to do I think there's an oversimplified one uh, which That'll be for seems us. to be yeah <laughs> we are simpletons and we need that sort of version uh, so hopefully yep. that'll be coming out of the channel uh, at some point during November slash December and I've gone out of focus oh. okay I mean if I was going to write a speech I was, I was, yeah. something came to mind it was like we shall fight them on the beaches something like that it's yeah, a goodbye that's... from me alright goodbye from him he's a 20th century boy